Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. It's Sunday, January 1st, 2023. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast. It's been determined length. Episode number 667 again. Nope. Kind of. Sort of. Nope. Maybe. What's the number? 677. There you go. Again? That's what I said, didn't I? <laughs> no, no, you what said 667. I, oh. <laughs> I doubled the wrong number. Uh, you went number. back in time. <laughs> 677. <laughs> Anyways, 677-ish. <laughs> I guess we'll get to that. <laughs> the bottles. But, you know, things happen. It's fine. Everything's fine here. How are you? Uh, for me, for December was uh, 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 same thing, different month, pretty much. I got more days off. I got two, two four-day weekends, although... The second four day weekend, two, only two of them were last month. Mm. But otherwise, it, it was just another another day, another dollar for me. So you could have written rinse, lather, repeat. Something like that. Yeah, I suppose. I'd put same old, same old. Mm hmm. And well, I noticed there wasn't the little accent, so it wasn't same ole, same ole. So, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, do I put the D in here so it's like same oldie, same oldie? Or... <laughs> oh, old Gary. English. Got it. <laughs> Gary, Gary, are you tired or just hyper? I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I'm like, <laughs> oh, you're drinking. That's what it is. Daddy, Daddy got juice. <laughs> <laughs> that teddy bear got some juice. There we go. I was sitting here like, something's <laughs> up. Something's different. Because you are on it today. But just going through crazy. Spiked. Uh, it's not just spiked. Excited, excited for, I mean, <laughs> D&D, Final Fantasy. Yay. Made food. Uh, last minute Christmas presents of gift card, gift card, gift card, gift card. Actually, <laughs> yeah. There was four of them. One of them I just gave to my sister's family instead of just my sister. So, and she's the only one that's married to us kids. But, uh, I wanted to say so badly, smart, <laughs> but then I was like, wait, who am I saying smart? The married one or the non married ones? Anyways, but uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. Short, sweet, to the point. Damon? <laughs> um, so, what the fuck drink December? Ready. What the fuck December? Okay, so, this has been pretty, this has been, okay, so, I started the month off really well. The Men's Chorus had its concert. It was my first car, um, concert as a VP of membership. It was, um, went really well. Audience was really good. I'll learn more about that in at our board meeting, but, you know, everything was really good. Um, Jim started his, um, well, he had already started, but Jim was um, doing his gigs at uh, Winterfest and uh, his Santa stuff. So he was, you know, busy a lot, but, you know, sometimes it's nice to have some time to myself. Um, 
then, you know, the holidays came around. And I had from, I had taken off the 23rd with the whole intention of having all next week, all of this, well, yeah, last week off, the 23rd Mm -hmm. through the 2nd of January. Mm-hmm. So I was going to be off completely. I had all these plans of, you know, getting stuff done around the house and, you know, all these things, all these ideas. Like this was the whole, like I've had all this time off. I was going to have time off. Jim wasn't going to be, you know, home for some, e- some evening. So I had like, okay, cool. Like I'll have, you know, time to do things around here that needed to get done. Um, and then Winter Storm El- Elliot happened. Um, I, the original plan for the time off was to go home for the holiday, but my mom had already told me that she was going to be traveling anyway, um, for Christmas, spending time with her sister. So I was like, well, cool. I don't need to worry about that. So why don't I just take the time off and do shit for myself? Um, then Winter Storm Elliot happened. So it's good. I wasn't traveling. Sorry for those that did. I know it was, it was awful. Um, and it got really, really cold. And on the morning of the 24th, Christmas Eve, um, I woke up to a wonderful surprise of water leaking into, drip, drip, dripping into my bathroom downstairs. Mm. Um, yeah, um, Jim sprung into action. We got the water shut off. I made an insurance claim. Uh called a plumber and was told, oh, I would be able to get a plumber in on the day after Christmas. Like, there, that was the earliest I can get someone in. Cool, cool. So, Jim and I, um, with, you know, no water in the house, really no way to do anything, we got a hotel for the weekend. We were like, okay, we'll just, we'll get a hotel for the weekend. We'll have, um, you know, it'll suck, but it'll be a weekend away. We already had plans with his family to spend Christmas with them. So, yay. Right? Cool. Um, Spent a couple of days in a hotel. um, Came back here on the 26th. uh, um, Had a wonderful um, jingle mingle um, with the cast and friends and such. And, you know, all through that day, didn't hear from the plumber. Didn't hear anything else. Didn't hear a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Actually, midway through our jingle mingle, Mm -hmm. um, I got a call from the plumber. Oh, he's got two jobs before us, and he's not going to be able to make it. Cool. Yeah. So... (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. I was like, not cool. (laughs) Not cool. Yeah. Super pissy. Um, call, like, literally hang up with him, um, finish the jingle mingle, have dinner, call their, um, the plumber's emergency line. There's really nothing they can do. They say to this call, like, someone will call you in the morning. Left a message, call in the morning. Um, I got up early because I couldn't sleep and, uh, waited a little while just to, like, make sure. Like, okay, if someone would call, they'll call. But I wasn't really having it because I needed to make decisions on what we were going to do. Mm-hmm. So I called them, talked to the plumber. Couldn't have anyone here till Friday. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, well, that kind of sucks. Super fucking sucks. So, okay, that's, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, that's the way it is. Everyone is having a problem. Like, let, let's put it like that. Like, it was a deep freeze. Pipes are bursting all over the place. I had, like, three or four friends that talked about it on my post on Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, so forth, so on. So we repack bags and go back to the hotel, and we're there until the Friday. Mm-hmm. So make a kind of an extended week out of it. Um. Things worked out. We were this time around, we were able to like prepare and brought like food and things to to like tide us over during the day. Uh, we could leave, um, you know, went to go grab lunch and then we would come home or go back to the hotel. 
Um, the plumbers did come on Thursday instead of Friday. They were able to get us in a day early. Mm. Woo! Yay. Yeah. Yay! Not yay. Um, <laughs> I'll get to that. So they they fixed it. They found it. It was a it was a pipe. It was a frozen pipe. Yay for that because that means it will be covered by insurance. Uh, um, I haven't had the adjuster's not due to come in until this Friday. Um, so I'll get to that in a second. Um, while the plumber is here. And I don't know the sequence of events that led him to doing this, but he checked out our water heater. Mm -hmm. uh, the water heater is old. It was old when we bought the house, and we've been here seven years. So mm -hmm. we knew at some point it would probably be something we would be replacing, repairing, what have you. Come to find out, oh, the water heater has been leaking carbon monoxide. It has not been venting properly because something's up with the, there's a blockage in the chimney area because it's one of those ones that um, vents into the chimney and goes, you know, comes out that way. It's an older model. It's the only way it does it. Something is in the way, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's going to, like, it's going to cost 5000 to $7,000 for the chimney company to come in and do what they need to do. So, but we were talking with our plumber and he was like, oh, hey, like we can, we'll just give you a, not give, give, not give. <laughs> you can get a tankless water heater. Um, he, it was one of the options he provided for us. And we were like, that's cool. That sounds good. And he was literally able to do it the next day. So, yay. Perfect. Yay. I don't, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> I have thoughts. I have feelings, but whatever. It's an upgrade to the house that, you know, we're going to pay for, blah, blah, blah. It was going to be something we would have had to have done anyway. It kind of just was an ex expedited um, expense. Uh, bah, 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 bah. They come Friday, and so do the water mitigation people who had been contacted by my insurance company literally when I filed the claim and have been waiting for the plumbers to come in and fix that, the the actual water leak. Mm -hmm. So they have come in and by the way, yeah, the the ceiling of your bathroom is still wet um, as was the hardwood floor in front of the bathroom, which we didn't realize was wet. Um, and so is the um, ceiling of the garage below um, your bathroom. So um, I don't know if you can hear it, but we've got fans running in our bathroom that have been running since Friday to in a dehumidifier to keep it like get as much water out of this space as they can. Um, uh, they came today. The hardwood floor is now dry. And on top of all of it, they can't do anything in the basement, in the garage yet. Why? Oh, because our house was built in the 1920s and has a plaster ceiling that may or may not have asbestos. Because, you know, that's a, a thing they were using back then and is dangerous if you um, disturb it. It's fine on it when it's when it's when you don't do anything with it right when it's sealed when it's sealed but once you fuck with it it is awful so they have been able to they took a sample to get it tested i won't know anything about that in tuesday till tuesday so they can't do anything in the basement until it's determined whether it is or is not asbestos mm -hmm. yay so um in the meantime you know, we're essentially bathtubless in this house. Um, the tub, the shower upstairs has been out for a while for a totally separate reason. And so we've been using the bathroom down here. And now we can't use that because they've got vents. Kind of, they've got 
huge ass fans and the humidifier in that bathroom. So you can't really do anything in there. Mm-hmm. So yay. Um, I've been taking um, uh, six hours, you know, cleaning up, you know, for that. And that's kind of been what we've been doing because I've been waiting for the insurance adjuster to call me back because, you know, we, I don't want to spend money on a hotel again if this time they won't cover it. They might be able to cover the, you know, week and a half um, that we've been out of a, well, week and a couple of days. But, um, so yeah, um, that's been my month. Um, but, you know, on the bright side, um, I'm home. Um, everything else works. Um, we did have a issue when they first plugged in the dehumidifier and everything was on this side of the house and the power, like they, it, it tripped the fuse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it was a lot of power all at once. And unfortunately it was just that side, um, I don't think it went as far as the upstairs, but I know it hit like the ba- the kitchen and our guest room and the bathroom and all that stuff. So there's a extension cord right now leading up to the front of the house, um, the front room, the living room to kind of divert that. But it was quick and easy and it was just, a, a, it just tripped the fuse. It didn't burn it out or anything, so. So yeah, that's been my December. Um, so it of... started pretty well, and now it's resulted in you taking a horse baths. Mm-hmm. Lovely, yeah. And um, I took the third off as well, just because um, if I need to go to a hotel for another night or two, I really don't want to try to work. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so so every, you know, I'm off tomorrow because everyone's off tomorrow. But I also took the following day off. I have a um, a doctor's appointment that morning, and then I'm starting something that evening that I'll talk about later on. Not in this episode, but maybe in what's going on for January. Oh, okay. Makes yeah. sense. Anyway, so that's me. <laughs> so you've had quite the adventure at the end of the month. Indeed. Well, Here, okay. I'm happy okay. and pleased that you guys are safe and that you still have your house, even though it is being crotchety and old. <laughs> And, you know, a bit of a challenge, but I'm sure it will be fine in the time to come. So home ownership, it is an ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone out there, just so you know, understand, like this is this this is the peril. This is the 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 negatives of home ownership. If something happens or breaks or or whatever you have to take care of it. You know, mm-hmm. you can't just call the landlord. But on the positive of that, you have to take care of it, meaning you don't have to wait for a landlord mm-hmm. to call someone to do something. And right. then, yeah, so. Yeah, there's <clears throat> there's pros and cons, I think, on on all of that stuff. Like, I, I'm fine going on over a decade of being in the same place and having a landlord because I just don't want to be bothered. Mm-hmm. Um, but the downside of that is that I don't have as much privacy as I would like. Don't get me wrong. I have privacy, but I have an next door neighbor like on one side and I have nobody on the other side because I'm on the end. So there's a part of me that's like, I think from time to time about how like my friends who own homes, I'm like, Oh, but y'all can be as loud as you want like with music or anything because like you have space between Mm -hmm. homes and like you Mm -hmm. don't have to be that concerned so yeah Yeah. one of those things like i can see into the kitchen of my neighbor right now as i look through my (laughs) dining room window (laughs) i'm like 
Yeah, that's 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 nice. <laughs> People put some blinds up. Anyways, they they've got they've got the little like curtains that should close and you know, they just they just haven't closed them. Yeah. They never closed them. But it's a kitchen, so fair. I mean, to my knowledge, they ain't getting freaky in there. Anyway, not that you spotted yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um Gary, how about you? What's going on? Um that was quick, he said. <laughs> uh and by that I mean like December just flew past. Like it it's already the first of the new month and the new year. And I'm like, wow. Uh over four weeks ago I was very busy with work and traveling back into Erie to host the World AIDS Day <laughs> memorial event um, that I had spent a bunch of time planning. And then, um, yeah, like this month, theoretically, with work calms down. Um, and it did, kind of. It didn't really do that until the last two weeks of the month, which was a surprise because, of course, mm. we got an email on the Monday the 5th that um, we were getting a one-year uh, funding renewal with no changes to anything um, but we could in essence we found out after some back and forth on emails that we could move pennies or dollars from category to category on the budget but that was basically all we could do and i was like oh okay that was a little painful but i learned uh, more about our budget setup which i already knew quite a bit and i got complimented by the, our director um as the most aware and involved knowledge staff member in the entire department about my funding source to which I explained, well, because in 2020, I worked so much on COVID, we got to the end of the year, and then the executive secretary was like, we have to spend money. And I was like, what? And of course, there was like no time. So, you know, we, mm. did, we didn't spend money. And, you know, I was very, I was very uncomfortable. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Peeved. Hmm. I was, I was nonplussed. So, yeah, I was, uh, I was, I was pretty bent on a shape. So since then, I've been on a personal uh, bucket list task to fully understand our funding and how we can utilize it and what we do with that kind of stuff. So, right. yeah. Um, so yeah, we got a notification on the fifth that we had to submit everything by the 19th, um, mm. for July of next year through the following June. It was a very wow. quick turnaround. The executive secretary nearly had a panic attack. Uh, <laughs> Because you have to buy our director left and retired at the beginning of November. So the person that normally handled this is now gone. Wow. Yeah. So um, so our overall director um, is kind of in their stay. And that was uh, – so we had a couple of meetings and some interesting stuff. So, yeah. Uh, so that was um, a lot of the week of the 5th and the week of the 12th, like trying to deal with that and some other stuff. And then it finally calmed down uh, <laughs> going in the week uh, into Christmas in this past week, like so much. So I was so proud of myself. I just have to brag about this on Friday, the 23rd, I reduced my inbox at work from over 170 emails down to just over 30. Ooh, because I read a bunch of things that I've been wanting to get to and filed a bunch of shit and deleted some other things. <laughs> and I was shocked that the number just kept going down, 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 down. And I was like, <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. That is the one thing I'm worried about going back into work after being off for mm. almost, well, a week and a half. Right. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, no, I don't. So the, the month, it feels like it went by really, really quickly. Um, and I'm happy that uh, it went rather well. Um, it was nice. They did a couple of socials at work. Um, they did a hot cocoa bar, uh, which was interesting. Um, I'm proud of myself. I did not sign up or force my way into another committee. Um, because this particular grouping, I was, uh, <clears throat> I have some feedback for them about how they did the hot cocoa bar. Uh, cause they apparently were not cognizant or paying attention or aware one of, one of one of multitudes that they have some diabetic people and therefore some sugar free hot cocoa probably would have been a good option. Um, not trying to offer everybody cookies because some people have gluten intolerance. Some people are diabetic. Uh, found out from talking to another coworker that we have some people that are Muslim as employees. So like 
I feel like that's a thing that we should all be learning more about because if we're going to do these food based functions for like socializing and like team stuff like bonding, we should probably learn a little bit more about like what would be acceptable and how to like meet those needs. Luckily, mm. those people are being very polite and not really saying anything, but I don't, I don't, luckily it's not the right word. I'm like, hmm, that's yeah. not that's not cool. So anyways, mm. it's a little thing like that. But no, they did a couple of socials. Um, yeah, it was a hot cocoa bar with your ugly sweater um, thing uh, was a gig. And then they did some other social stuff. And uh, our department had a like meeting and then they turned it into some socializing and games afterwards. The games were interesting. Uh, well, because like I'd never heard of this dice game before where you just roll the dice and then based on the number, um, you have to. Well, so the dicing, the dicing, wow, the rolling of the die was voluntary. You could pass, but pretty much everybody was doing it. And it was kind of silly. And then based on what you rolled, if you got doubles, you got to roll again. But every number represented something. And so you either had to do an action or tell or tell something. So it was like, you know, tell your favorite Christmas memory, tell like your favorite gift. Like, mm. what was the worst thing you ever got? Um, you know, um, the one that people were most embarrassed by. Was, which amused me to no end and I didn't get and I was very annoyed um, was imitate Santa Claus. And so I work with mostly women. And so they were just kind of like, I don't know, they just were sort of reluctant. And so most of them just went with like, ho, ho, ho. And I was like, mm. I was like, there are way better things you could have done. And I wanted to roll. I think it was a seven so bad so I could do the imitate Santa Claus because I would have stood up and I said, hmm, somebody's told me that none of you deserve presents this year. And just watch everybody's face be shocked. <laughs> nice. But nice, anyway. nice, nice. All right. So, no, it was it was all right. And, you know, when um, the bestie came up and has been here since the 22nd and hanging out and. We did some things, and uh, so yeah, it's been it's been nice. And now, it's a new year. Uh huh. So that being yeah. said, are we ready to move on? I think so. Time for this. <laughs> Gary, what's been going in the Elon Musk verse? Ooh, oh no! We're, no! Wow! No! 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 no, no. The ah. we're, we're not calling it that. No, you call it Twitter, like it's <laughs> fucking supposed to be called. <laughs> Mm-mm. We are not saying that name. That is Dumbledore. No, not Dumbledore. Voldemort. <laughs> we are not saying that fucking name. David is nope. not down with the muskness. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> no. Anyways. Confused. <laughs> uh, we would like to thank the following people who have followed us on Twitter. Uh, Lilyax? Lil- 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. There's two vowels in a row. Uh, Sharon Dix 15. So that's funny because that's a damn drag name. Uh, uh-huh. It's not, it's not a, an entertainer of that. Um, their whole Twitter is just literally sharing peen. Um, mm-hmm. Also, Alex 9820641. E Worrell three two three, Derek seven five nine six five one two nine. Um, now, I keep trying to figure out how to like. I know of this person. I've seen them at events, and I don't know how they pronounce their nick. Do you know, David? Um, no. Okay, so I think it's supposed to be. Um, so they're STD, but I don't think it means what you what I think it means. <laughs> Once up one. I think it's a gaming reference, but I don't quite know. Um, There's a part of me for the longest time that kept thinking it was like stoned. But then I was like, I don't know. Uh, And then also Liam Falks XX. So thank you for following us. Yes, thank you for following us. (laughs) I've, I've I've been saying Saint Dunce up is what I've been saying, but I don't know if that's right. (laughs) <laughs> well it could be sainted once up could be yeah, I don't only know. he can tell us for sure so if you're listening new twitter follower um maybe give us a call and tell us what it what it's actually said how it's actually said that'd be great yeah he has a nice twitter by the way 
Oh, yes, he does. He's, he, well, he has a lot of nice things, but yeah, you mm-hmm. can see those things on Twitter. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Uh, David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my face is so red. Okay. <laughs> so we have a new YouTube subscriber. Um, Carmen King 2780. Mm-hmm. Welcome, welcome. Jeff? No, we're in the Facebooks. I don't know how this ended up happening when we switched, but anyway. <laughs> you did it. No, I didn't. Anyways. <laughs> we have did. we have new <laughs> or maybe Dick Gray Gray Gary no, did. Whatever. Someone Gary's did the it. one who actually switched them. I was just because I complained so much about Twitter and said, Do you want to do this? And, and now you're he just it. took Here that and switching it. <laughs> Anyway, anyways, thanks for the follow, of Michael Doherty, Roma, Roma, uh, Jared, built, 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 Blizz, 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 uh, Luis Diaz, Michael Prestia, is an I or an L? It's an I. It's an I. Uh, Ken Bradley, <laughs> Madeira, I need, I need. Why <laughs> focals, Grandpa? Come on. <laughs> Or increase the size, like you could zoom in. <laughs> Going two hundred percent. Fidel Madeira, uh, Justy Binder, Manu, uh, Quadrat, Quadrat, Quadrat. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Amado ha- Hasmut Bazan, uh, Pascal Pierre Viaville, uh, a uh, Thai phrase of Liam Singh. Uh, Jesse DeLeon, uh, Oscar Nolasco, Son Leonard, Brian David, TJ Fred Sill, Jaime Cruz Rodriguez, Fabio Reggio, uh, Brandon Craig, and Ricky Ryan. And I'll say this. I don't know why, but we are consistently getting a lot of people that are following and liking us on Facebook. And we very much thank you for that and appreciate it. But I don't think we're doing anything intentionally to get more and more of those folks. So I'll maybe say something after chat, after after show, post show. You've been whoring us out. No. Oh, okay. I'll I'll explain here in a minute. I'll explain. (laughs) Okay. And Gary... Let's give praises to the patrons. Yes, we shall. Uh, I'm going to go in reverse order. My, my co-host will know what that means. So Big Bear Cub hugs to our patrons. Uh, if you didn't know, we have a Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. And for a dollar or more a month, you can help support us. These lovely people did, and we very much thank them for that. At the Cubster level, Charles W., Daniel C., and Michael K. At the Uber level, Dave T., Lee, Michael Q., and Tim S., plus our buddies, Lloyd G., Michael V., and Owen R. Yay! Yay! We love you, and that's a fact. (laughs) So, um, speaking of such things... (laughs) So about that, oops. <laughs> it, it's not something we did again. <laughs> no, that's true. It was not maybe, a Britney. Maybe we um, did it before. I don't know. AKA the first COL 677 that was not released. Dun, dun, dun. So we'll start with the positive. We'll do, we'll do a, uh, a uh, coaching sandwich. sandwich. Yes. <laughs> So we'll start with the positive. On Monday, December 26th, we held Jingle Mingle 2. On Boxing I think, Day. I think we had a fun time. Yeah. We yeah, played some games. Um, I'm, I'm looking back at my previous notes. We did the Holiday Most Likely 2022. The Naughty Holiday This or That of 2022. And the penultimate of all games... The naughtiest of all 2022. Okay, who are the top three? I'm sure you saw this. Now you're going to really fast. (laughs) I think I remember the top two. Okay. While I'm looking for that, who who do you recall or think was 
uh, in the top three? Uh, well, I, the top two, I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, the top three was probably Damon number three. Um, it was um, names are escaping me right now. Drew. Drew. Or AJ. Yeah, Drew. And then AJ. I think AJ hit top. Just Incorrect. Really You're actually in the opposite order. Yeah. Oh. AJ came in third. Drew came in second, and Damon was the naughtiest of all. Yes. We're going to get you a sash later. <laughs> you can parade that around at the next <laughs> bear event you go to. And watch everybody, <laughs> see, it becomes a conversation piece, because everybody's like, what's that about? And you're like, oh, I co-host a podcast, and we did a game. I was deemed the naughtiest of all. Um. Yeah, so uh, that being said, Damon, I didn't actually um, – I forgot to ask when we uh, were doing the game and we got to the end and we found out that you were the naughtiest of all. Do you have a preference about whether you lose presents, um, get lumps of coal, or you get wax from Krampus? Oh, God. <sighs> it's all right. I don't want to lose presents because um, – She likes gifts. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then um 15 third love language yes actually it is um uh um lumps of coal would be nice but considering the recent issues with the house and the carbon monoxide thing um probably not that but the wax though you know i could think of something to do with that no 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 krampus wax your rumpus Oh, you, you get the wax. You don't oh. give the wax. You get the wax. Oh, it's wax. W-H-A-C-K-S. Right. Not Correct. wax. W-A-X. Okay. Yes. Okay. Remember, well, Krampus visits the bad little children and has oh, like right. switches that's of right. branches in their hand and they beat the bad children. That's what mm. that means. You, you thought you were getting like a wax figurine or something? <laughs> you were getting candles? <laughs> Given wax, like just yes, wax, a whack, 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 whack. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy, let me roll up a newspaper. Whack, oh. bad puppy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm, fine. I, I'm sure a certain there's a certain Krampus that I would totally be happy to get my wax from. I think I know who you're talking about. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. I would be more than though. Like, like I mean, they do good aftercare, but they but they're so, sort of misbursed. I mean, I've I've i it, it's already happened for me before. Okay. So I mean it wouldn't <laughs> it will hurt, but <laughs> Oh, it will. Oh, it will. But um um I wouldn't I wouldn't say I would be okay with that. Now, would it be like I think what it was like 90 or it was a lot of numbers there. You you your total for naughty points was 108, which is the yeah. equivalent of 36 wax. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much but <laughs> but only so much pain tolerance. So right, right, right. But yeah. So there's that. Yeah. So that being said, um, unfortunately, we do not have a recording of said uh mm -hmm. social get together fun times. Um, and it's probably for the best for all of our future potentials. Um, if anybody decides to go into office or like, <laughs> have have an employer review your online presence because um, a lot was revealed in the game. A lot was said. Apparently. Um, some truths were, were – tea was spilled. A lot of things were said. Um, just to give people an impression, we talked about um, – whether or not people have naughty things on their phone, whether or not they have permission to have said naughty things on their phone, um, where they've had sex, how many times they've had sex, um, whether or not they've been in uh, sexual <laughs> relations with uh, potentially lots of people, the age at which they started. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we went we went pretty deep on a bunch of things. And I was highly amused in the end to find out that someone thought they were going to be the naughtiest of all, 
um, and come to find out they were not. Uh, and they actually came in. Let me see. One, two, three. Well, they technically came in fourth place. So, yeah. That was amusing to me to find out after the fact that someone thought they were going to um, mm-hmm. be naughty and the naughtiest. And in fact, they were not. And their partner was way naughtier than them, which was quite amusing. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, um, the Jingle Mingle 2 did not get uh, a recording for us to be able to post. So, that's oof. unfortunate. It happens, but. And yet at the same time, I'm sort of relieved because there was a part of me that was a little nervous about like, posting that. I mean, it definitely would have been adult. <laughs> Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But, but so with that was... being said, yeah. what shows did we do? <laughs> great, great segue. Um, so uh, since we last had a What's Going On, that was episode 674 um, for the month of November. And then uh, 675 was Our Favorite Things 22, meaning 2022. We talked about our things that we uh, recommend for other folks that we enjoy. Um, 676, <laughs> where do we go next? AKA Twitter issues. Um, what's ironic is, so, uh, we don't usually have the opportunity to talk about pressing like immediate news stuff that's happening because of our recording. Like we usually pick topics and book things in advance. Lo and behold, we actually like kind of did something timely and Within what 24 48 hours after we recorded the show, Twitter already reversed their stance about right. the not like promoting other platforms links crap right. thing that they pulled as a stunt. Um, that was Got making deleted it and removed and is no longer on our like policies or terms of service page. Yeah, ironic. So, yeah, that was a thing that happened. Um, and then, so this is actually technically episode 677. So, um, but I do want to thank uh, those that joined us because it was Jeff, uh, Damon, and myself. And then um, Drew joined us as well as AJ, Zach, Joshua, Tim, and Lloyd, as well as uh, Eric the Gray joined us briefly, um, but was engaged in other things and got to uh, shock us with seeing how black bath water can be when you use <laughs> bath bomb that apparently is as dark as your soul. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was a good fun time and I uh, hope that we will do something similar again next year. Yes. That being the case. So yeah. Yeah. We'll see Yay. And with that it's time for this. All right, enough of that. Uh, this one is from a uh, which has been occasionally referenced and uh, has been the the entourage chat at one point in time. Uh, Rook, he said, once once you when you want to do nothing and get to everything and yet everything all at once, and it's mm-hmm. just him. All splayed out in his glory. I mean, he's adorable. Yes, he is. I mean, he, he covers my three B's triggers or buttons, I should say, all mm-hmm. bearded and bellied. Now, here's my question Damon, have you met Rook in person? I have met him in person. So have I. Um, I got to meet him uh, when I went to. DC for um, Mid Atlantic. Mm-hmm. No, that was how that's I wrong. Them. Oh. That's wrong. I met him at for the first time at a Halloween party when I went to visit AJ for my birthday. Oh, I think the okay. first, the first, the first time I went to visit AJ. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> One of y'all gonna put the link in the chat? Um. So, yeah, no, uh, I've known him for a number of years, and he is um, very sex positive and yes. appreciative of all individuals, but really likes big boys. And um, so, yeah, been following him for a while now. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. 
Yes. Cutie patootie. Mm-hmm. Very sexy. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Damon? So I have two. Um, one is kind of holiday themed. Um, and it's unfortunately also a just for fans link, but what have you. Um, but this is from um, Cliff Boyd, aka Chai Bear 20, or Chicago Bear 20. Um, Daddy Claus Corrupting Santa. Um, it includes another person that we've all um, found quite attractive uh, uh, Daddy Gary from, or not Gary. Woo. Wow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, and I'm the one that's been drinking. Words. <laughs> um, sorry, I was distracted. I apologize. Um, oh, anyway. Whew. Sorry. You know who it is. I can't sit here trying to think of the name, and it is gone. Um, okay, so uh, Cliff is with Gary. Uh, for those of you who know who know who Gary is, he's the president of um, the International Leather Archives and Museum. Um, so yes, yeah. uh, so two two daddy bears playing in Santa. Um, but uh, and of course you're gonna freeze on me. Thank you, Twitter. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, so there's Santa, which is Cliff, and then Daddy Claus, which is Daddy Gary. So there's that. That's definitely some spank bank material for a mm. whole lot of people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. So the first comment I read on that said, just spit roast me already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're super, they're, they're, they're both nice. They're se- sexy AF, and it's good to see them together. Damon is having a problem with words. I'm having a problem because I, I have to look away from it because it is... You were talking about buttons earlier? Yeah. Triggering. Like, yeah. yeah. So fucking Damon's buttons. been triggered. So many like fucking buttons. Like horny triggered. Not like... So many. Bad triggered. So my next one um, to move on... Um, is by um, Alpha Leather Bear, and it's called Choose Your Adventure. And it is a, um, it is Alpha Leather Bear in a wonderful matching ensemble, uh, a murkap, murkap, um, harness and jockstrap combo in a. I'm thinking an orange color, like a dark orange. Yeah. Um, and he's got gloves, like leather gloves on, and he's got a, one arm up, and he's flexing. You get a, you get an armpit, and his hand is in his crotch. Um, yeah, very, very, very nice. And he's got hashtags. Yes. What's it? Choose your own adventure. What is the thing? Mirror Cap Monday, our Muscle Cub, Muscle Bear Monday, our Man Musk Monday. Thank you. You didn't say that. There you go. I took the Choose Your Own Adventure as you could go for the pit or you could go for the crotch. I'm just saying. That's why our I'm nips that. are yeah. the face. Yeah, there's, there's, there's so many places you can go. Yeah. It's your decision on where you go. Oh, the places you will go. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Cute. And I as well have two. Um, the first one's called Peekaboo. So Sky Sea Bear uh, posted this, and I just think it's like cute and comical how they're staring straight into the camera. They are naked, mm-hmm. and their uh, comforter is barely like half covering the goods. Um, mm-hmm. As you can see, that they have a cock ring on, and mm-hmm. they are thick with three C's. Mm-hmm. In case you had any doubt. Um, yeah. Huh. Yes, yes, yes. Nice balls there. Anyway. <laughs> nice everything. Just, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. So so much fun. So enjoyable. 
Uh, and then my second one is called Damn, He Turned Out Super Cute. Uh, I saw this before, uh, and I went back and I, because I wanted to make sure that I like save some of these and then uh, share them. So the actual tweet says, Damn, He Turned Out Super Cute. I've gotten several inquiries about buying one. DM me to discuss. I can customize the hood color, skin color, and gender. Also working on a safer work version. This is from at Dirty Dog Lab. And it is a three-dimensional, uh, naked, uh, thick, you know, bodied pup who has a hood on and has a f- fully at masked bone. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just fucking adorable uh i just love that they you know created this and i don't know if they're doing it i'm not quite sure if they do it with clay or if they're using like 3d printing um or what Mm. it is that they're doing but anyways i just thought it was super adorbs um so and the fact that they're like hey i'm kind of game uh for you know to make some coin if people Mm -hmm. are interested they can contact me um so it says, uh, well, on their, their bio, it says, learning how to sculpt, paint, and print and paint and cast resin. So it might be just um, a resin piece. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it's really good. I've seen this before. Um, I really like it. Yeah, and if you go to their um, Twitter, you can see, like, other things that they've done, which is pretty cool. Uh, they don't just do, like, you know, a nude model, but... Um, all sorts of, of different options. So, yay, independent artists. Yay. yay. Yay, pervy independent artists. Go support them. Give them give them monies. Give them commissions. Oh, so, yeah. wow. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to stop because I will start watching. Looking I know. This. Okay. I uh, know. And they're based in Chicago. So, uh, and they have an Etsy store. Ooh, I got to check out the Etsy store. Sorry. Uh, well, no, because now I'm curious. Oh, okay. I got naked chubby pup figure um, <laughs> is listed. It's the only thing they have listed at the moment, probably because they weren't expecting um, people wanting to order their sculpts. Um, mm-hmm. But that's uh, even cooler. So uh, maybe we're seeing the burgeoning of a new artist. That we all become familiar with. Yay! Yay! And with that, let's go on the links. Gary, what do you got? Um, <laughs> so I didn't watch a whole lot this month, but uh, Disney Plus, I did end up watching recently a documentary called If These Walls Could Sing. I do have something. Hold on. I really highly recommend that people check this out. Um, this is not the Beatles documentary that um, uh, Peter Jackson from Lord of the Rings uh, and many other films uh, did with the footage. This is separate, but this is about the Abbey Road studios, the history of it and the various artists that have played there. Um, I just really, really, really enjoy it. I'm more of a documentary person like naturally, but I didn't know that this was a thing and then saw it recently and watched it and um it's not a series it's a it's just a document uh movie and i only think it's maybe about two hours or an hour 45 minutes long but i really loved like just learning the history of this space and the roller coaster of like its existence and like the artists that have been there and like what happened with the space and all these different things and yeah so if you're into that kind of stuff i highly recommend you check it out and Damon, really quickly, yeah, you. yep. I forgot to put it, and that's on me. That's yeah. It's okay. kind of going on, but one of the things I watched before everything went to shit um, <laughs> was um, I watched this series um, on Netflix called Dragon Age Absolution. I don't think it actually has the colon in it, but anyway, oh it maybe does it does. Anyway, colon. anyway, so um, I. If you were if you were on Twitter, watching the social meds, a image slash video from this series, Kate like popped up often because it involves two characters, two male characters, um, kissing. And yes, yeah, right. So it prompted me to like, I really want to see what this series is all about. So. Jim and I watched it, and I 
thoroughly enjoyed it. It the pacing is fast because it's only six episodes, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes. But um and it is based on a video game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're doing series. that a lot. Huh? They're doing that a lot. Uh, yeah. Cyberpunk got a got a series. Uh, yeah, so the description says, with great power at stake, a group of misfits must work together to steal an artifact from a sinister mage based on Bioware's video game franchise, which I personally am not familiar with Bioware's franchise, Dragon Age. I am Age, not either. Um, so I wanted to watch it, and I'm glad I did. Um, it, it told a very in-depth story. Um, I will, like I said earlier, I will admit the pacing was fast um they got a very quick story in with and they threw a lot at you um very quickly so if you're like me you're not familiar with the game maybe these are elements from the game that if you were familiar with the game you would recognize Mm -hmm. but for me it was just a lot of like fast-paced information kind of thrown at you not necessarily in a negative way but just it was just a lot Um, But the show was really good. It was animated really well. The story was good. Um, And the the main plot is this group trying to steal this item. Mm -hmm. And there's reasons why they're trying to steal the item. And I don't want to say antics ensue, but that's kind of what happens. They're stealing it from a well-guarded, heavily, you know, um, heavily watched upon location and, you know, trying to get it hopefully without being seen. And the main character of the series is the person that can get them in there because she used to live there. Dustin says that he thinks it's great too. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. I would, I would recommend it. Um, even if you don't you know know the games, if you're a fantasy lover, if you're a, I don't want to say D and D lover, but if you're a fantasy you know role play um, fan, I think you will enjoy it. Look, it, 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 just don't worry about the fact that that it's inspired by a game. It's a right. It's its own thing. Don't worry about right. having to to like anything just because it's called yeah. Dragon Age. You don't have to have played any of the Dragon Age games. Just exactly. enjoy it for, for a story that's told in that world. Yeah. Like I took, that's how I took it. I, I, I watched the trailer and that helped me. So I will say that much. Watch the trailer to like, it'll give you a really good glimpse of what's going on. And then you can watch the series and you'll kind of understand a little bit more. So yeah, I'll uh, link to the trailer in the uh, show notes. And um, embedded in the show notes, I should say too. And uh, for those who are fans of like Critical Role and D&D, Matthew Mercer um, um, lends his voice to a character as well as um, Ashley Birch and um, ooh, Sumali. Let me go back and see if I can find that name again. And I'm going to say it wrong and I don't want to say it wrong. Um, yeah, Sumali Montano. Who the, Ashley and Simile voiced characters in season two of um, um, Critical Role. Mm, okay. And also, if you know Phil Lamar, he he's a, a character. He's a voice actor in that as well. Long time, long serving voice actor also, has done so many. Also been things. a guest on one of the Critical Role one shots, I think. Ah, nice. So there you go. Sorry cool. for that last second. Yeah, but I it was when we got there, I was like, oh, wait, I forgot about that. No, it's fine. I, you know, I saw people sharing that one video about the male couple, like the the much expected kiss and like mm-hmm. kind of how that plays out or whatever. And to be fair, like these episodes are like 30 minutes long. So the fact that you're like talking about how it's so like quick kind of fast mm-hmm. pace, like, which I think people would find very engaging, but it may be just time constraint that they, that like, they only got green lit for six episodes and they realized like, okay, we have to try to hit as much as possible without like going overboard. Right. 
<sighs> Which it go. kind of like it, for those who are fans of, of Critical Role <laughs> watching watching the animated series, things went really fast compared to, mm, mm-hmm, to the pace mm-hmm. of the, uh, the live stream. Agreed. Well, guess what, folks? That's the end. Oh. Plain ways to contact us. Leave your comments about anything. You can do that on our blog at CubsOutLoud.com. Shoot us an email at CubsOutLoud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail, 60 or otherwise at 361 cl talk That's 361-265-8255. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place in the URL. You can also uh, join our entourage chat on t- at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash col. If you would like to know when we're planning on recording these shows, you can keep an eye on our Google Calendar at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. You can also support us in many ways, including buying some merchandise at our Zazzle store at zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. It's just sent us my four play shirt, another sticky here's your cookie shirt, hats, mugs, etc. Uh, some of the designs were designed by Smashy. You can find more of his work at tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy's Bear. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, or if you would like to send us a donation, you can do that at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. You can subscribe to us pretty much anywhere that you can subscribe to podcasts, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Amazon Audible. And please, uh, while you're on that platform, read us, review us, um, and that will help us get higher in the algorithm and reach more people so they can enjoy these shows as well. You can find me anywhere in the internet. It's box set, box cup, puppy, box cup, box something or other. Um, if you wish, yeah. If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as Theater Cub Seven Nine. That's T H E A T R E C U B Seven Nine. On most bear related sites are on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, if you would like to find me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gare Bear Seven Three. Um, speaking of not safe for work, um, there is an alt quote unquote it's really just a not safe for work twitter um it's gabber 73 xxx so yeah yeah and with that say good night everybody good night everybody ciao for now